Yo. But it, what is this? Oh, you know what? We did the announcement, so I've left all this shit turned on I don't need. Boop. <laughs> Hello. Excuse me. Hello, everybody. It's Cybernet Commander. It's Lynchy13, Cowdy Pastry, Sergeant Taco, and Secret People. Hi all, welcome to Tuesday. Boy, that was a rush getting in and then getting this set up and doing my schedule and figuring out what I was going to play today because we finished <coughs> the medium and we don't have time to do Echo Night Beyond. <clears throat> so, I figured, you know, what with this playing Resident Evil Outbreak on Sunday, as well as... Did I say it's a different day? Uh, I don't know. Um, what with it being Resident Evil Outbreak on Sunday and... Call of Cthulhu on Sunday, and Parasite Eve on Friday. I figured, to free up some space on that Sunday, plus Phasmophobia, I would move the Indie Game Showcase to today. So, I have quite falsely called this a horror PS1 Indie Game Showcase, or horror Indie Game Showcase. What it is, is a PS1 Indie Game Showcase. Most of which... Thank you, Cyber Necromancer, for the for the sub. Welcome to the second Tuesday of this week. Oh, do you know what? This week has fucking dragged. Oh, PS1 gives a hard Alright, yeah, let me let me reset my brain. So there's a bunch of games on HIO. Many of them were made for the Haunted PS1 Summer of Shivers game jam. Uh I think one or two of them weren't, but I thought they were cool and I grabbed them anyway. So I have six games to play to have a look at. And, uh, yeah, we give them, like, 20 minutes each or something, and just, like we used to do, you know. There's no hot PS1 demo disc out just yet this year that I haven't looked at, but this will do in its place. So. So you'll have to bear with me, because these things are often a little difficult to work with. It's like working with animals, right? They say never work with animals, never work with indie uh, HIO PS1 games. Uh, they're usually fine, but sometimes they're a little weird, so we'll just try and get through it. We'll get it to work. So the first one is called 10 Hours Below. What is this? A game about exploring a scene using a timeline to find monsters in a 10 hours long animation. Right, well, I guess we're here for 10 hours now. And here's the game. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be here for 10 hours. <laughs> Look at the popcorn. All right, let's give this, uh, give the appropriate amount of time. What is it? It's 18.04 right now. We'll go, we'll go uh, at least up to 20 minutes. All right, what do we got here? So it looks like, uh, I guess I use my mouse. Is this like... Where are we? What are we looking through? So... We've got this little scrub bar here. It starts to flood, it looks like. You will be here for ten hours! we got monsters to find. It's true! Oh, well, what the fuck is this camera? Who recorded this and where from? We've got, like, a drone spinning around, like, hundreds of times a second for ten hours. That's incredible. Yeah, this is a relic. This is, like, an old PC, um, like, what do you call it? Like, an FMV game? I really like that we can move our camera around. That's really nice. What's this do? Click on a monster, okay. Monster collection, rotation bar, rotation! Time input, time bar, zoom, quit, sound, okay. Yeah, that's cool, that's all very straightforward. I like that, I like that this is presented in such a straightforward way and that we don't have a massive area to look around, we can just... Oh, hey yo, what's this? Alright, so first of all, let's, uh, let's get a... Let's scrub through the time bar here. Is 
So it looks like there's... It's getting a little fuzzy. There's like a point at which the water goes up. It jumps up. I'm trying to find that. Uh, wait, what was that? You see that? Was that was that a thing? No. Yeah, yeah, you see that? Oh no, it's just the window. Never mind. Never mind. False alarm. Put your torches and pitchforks down, everyone. No monsters here. I hope this guy has good flood insurance. Scary window. Mm. Sounds like something's changed in the soundscape. Oh wait, we can... Do it, totally do that too, totally forgot. I honestly think the best way is to just do this first. That was like a weird... Five Nights at Freddy's style thing, isn't it? But without the imminent threat of um, being assaulted by a teddy bear. I did like the look of that one Maelstrom played the other day, what was that? Um, some fun time? I forget. Oh. Poppy's Playtime, that was it. say that now, yeah, we never know, this could be horrifying. Oh wow, look at the, look at the, whatever's going on here, the, the Varex stuff is like freaking out. Getting real mossy. I wonder if I'll find, like, Dagon. <laughs> hey, it's just your average genius. Hello! They're looking for monsters in the sea. Or at least in this guy's house. What do we got here? Nothing? Okay. Uh, some some shit's going on. Even our camera's underwater now. I feel like there should be something soon in and amongst all of this. So the camera's getting real messy.
It's a very cool tech demo, isn't it? Of all this stuff growing. If nothing else. Okay, that's irregular. We found the deep ones, everyone. Just as, yeah, when she's like, there are no monsters. What if there are none? And no, we got, we got album cover fodder right here. We got swimmy boys. This is some good shit. Pastry, this is, is this how you look when you're pretending to be a real life seal? <laughs> seal people. I said pretending. I didn't mean that. Of course we all know that pastry is a real life seal. I want to see him show up. I want to see him pop up. It's like, yo, the party don't start till we swim in. Wait, I could time that better. Act surprised, guys. When they turn up. Okay, they'll feel bad if they don't shock us, right? If they're because they're like, we're creepy, spooky, uh, swimmy lads. And if we don't act shocked, they'll be really like upset, I think. Because this is all they have now, right? It's all they've ever wanted is just to, like, scare us a little bit. This is 80 minutes. <laughs> no, wait, what is this? It's a 10 hour long feed, so... I guess this is 8 hours and... Some points. It's using internet time, I guess. I don't know. When does this happen? This happens at uh, 86.53. Alright. So it seems like we've got a couple more minutes. That's cool. We can wait. Maybe I should just skip it a little bit. Here we go. I wonder where they come from. Alright guys, back shocked. Ready? Oh my god! There they are! They just show up. Well that's cool, we found one. So weird! Whoop! All right, that's that's number two of three. Let's see what else we got. Wait, when do they like yeet? Do they just disappear. Is this like an unknown Kadash thing? Invented like the dream realm. We are on a dream quest. Man, what a fucking ride that story is. Oh, whoa, they just did like a flippy do.
So it seems they ascend. They go. The background sound is good. I enjoy it. Alright, well let's let those guys do their thing. Uh, what else we got? I still think something is in the abyss. For all we know, the sea level could still be rising. This could be like the apocalypse. You know what I wasn't sure about this game? I thought it would be just be like, yeah, it's kinda kinda whatever, it's like a tech demo thing, it's boring. But actually I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> I could play this. Like if, if this was like here's the, like a scene and you have to watch for monsters and then it goes into like the next one. Yeah, yeah, I I, I saw that too. <laughs> Genius. I was like This is kinda goofy, but you know, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. It's gotta- it's all about the vibe, right? <clears throat> yeah, I'd play a game like this. Ghost of Chan, by the way, special guest today. Not a lot I can do. I think she's supposed to be here, so it's it's all good. The feed ends here. What happens just before that? Let's watch the end of the tape. Right, okay. Like Satan. Ninety nine nine one eight. Oh, it really is day gone. Wee! Hey, that's cool. Hey, do you think that's where all those dudes went? They like became whatever this is. Hello. Oh my god! Okay, so the camera gets fucked by that dude. Can we back up a little? Can we? Can we like zoom right in? Yeah, give me. Spin. I like how it follows the camera, even though we are watching this footage back. Hey, Maelstrom. Yeah, we're watching this footage back from a camera, it seems, but this thing knows we're here. It's like a time travel mish monster. Can we, like, speed? Can we get a good zoom and close up? Uh, let's see if we get a picture. Oh, that wasn't quick enough. Oh well. Let's go back.
There we go. Nice little pleasant house. Um, so where was the first one? The first one was 80653. Let's go. So we had, we had this guy up in here. And then we had Yeah, this is stuff from Itch.io. This is from the Haunted PS1 Summer of Shrieks game jam. I got my finger on the camera button. Yeah, say cheese, guys, all three of you, or however many there are. Say cheese. Oh, I missed it. Okay. And then we found, like, this one. The funny saw me, guys. We. So, is it between here and there, or is it prior to this? What do you think? I guess it's before that. Yep, synchronized swimmers. Terrifying. I don't think anyone's in the house. Also, the game's quite generous with uh, where the time codes are. It said click on a monster, but I don't think it actually does anything. I think it just finds the, the time code and saves it. So when I click this, it just saves that's what I want. I guess I'll try it out. I'll try it out. First, I'm going to wait for this to hit 66666 and see if Satan shows up. Because why not? Are 
We've about done our 20 minutes, though, on this one. I might have to move on in a minute. The number of the beast! Nope, Satan isn't here. Yeah, I think what was supposed to happen is that when they arrive, I click on them and then it says, oh, there's the monster. But it kind of just does this for me. 99918. Okay, so I think... Let's quickly scrub back through the whole timeline. None of them have been like hidden, they've all been pretty obvious. I heard something. Yeah, Satan's in the sauna. That's true. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know where that other monster is. I feel like it was around that f this mark. <laughs> the true monster is that there is no first monster. Now that'd just be mean. Apparently the first one's quite hard to get. 
few people couldn't find the first monster. I'm like invested now. But I do need to move on. I'm gonna say I'm gonna move on from this, but hey, if you guys want to see the first monster, you can download this on HIO. It's called 10 Hours Below. And it's free! But we're gonna move on to the next game. Really, really cool. Next game. What do we got? We have, um,. Endless Blue, an underwater survival horror adventure. A classic survival horror adventure set in a mysterious underwater research facility inspired by 90s classics of the genre, the game aims to faithfully recreate not only the gameplay of the era, but the unique aesthetic vibe of 90s sci-fi horror. Okay, so this is keyboard and mouse or Xbox 360. Okay, nice. But this is, I think this is a demo. An introduction, yes. Spooky water games, yeah, I think that was the um, the theme of the horror game jam. It was like, water games. There's a few things I have. Uh, not all of them were, but uh, some of them were. Quite a few of them were water themed. What what is this? Uh, you did some nos Wait, why did that load on that? Wait, why does Steam VR load? <laughs> what? Uh, I was doing some nostalgia and I found some video evidence of Rusty Bean's origin as a cloth master and proving myself not fucking insane. Well, let's play that. Why not? Sales who I am. So Hello, I'm Captain. Sure would you like to buy? Would you like to buy a sail? <laughs> it's a cloth meister. My name is a salesman, <laughs> and I sell sails, and I'm a cloth meister. I'll be the one to touch cloth on this boat. <laughs> Where's the map room? <laughs> oh, someone's doing something. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Let's find the one that said that. <laughs> Wait, where the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding about again, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> Killed Maelstrom. <laughs> I'll be the one to touch cloth on this boat. You heard it here first, folks. Thanks for that pastry, it was uh... amazing. Boop! 
endless blue. I'm gonna need some more wine for this. <sighs> right. Div Productions 98 to 2021. Well, this person might have been making games since 1998. I don't fucking know. Maybe it's just like a thing where they're like, you know, try harding the. No, we, we made this game in 1998. Bruh. Year of our Lord. Let's. Put this in. Maybe that's the birth year. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Could be. Could be young. Okay. I guess my controller is out of the question right now. Oh, but I really want to play it with the controller. I gotta try resetting it. Launcher. What are we drinking? Oh, it's uh, Jam Shed Malbec. An Argentinian fruity plum wine. Right, it's actually not working with um, my controller right now, that's a bit annoying. Maybe it will once we get in, but why does it open Steve VR every time I load the game? Colonel, I'm approaching the base. Command, I've infiltrated the underwater research facility. Damn it, the storm up above must be disrupting their communications. Well, whatever. The show must go on. Ah, I wish I could play it with a fucking controller right now. It does support it, but mine's not being picked up as a, uh... as the right kind of controller, I don't think. I can fix this. Okay, it doesn't like any of my three controllers. <laughs> And uh, I had an Xbox 360 one, and an Xbox One one, and this 8-bit dough. Oh wait. What? The start button works? And oh, now it works. Okay, great. My diving equipment. Might as well leave it here for now. Some large oxygen tanks. Wait. Whoa! Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. Lady. First of all, I feel like the frame rate is about 40 frames too high for this kind of game. You know what I mean? Oh, now the controller stopped working. Right, if you're holding the stick while you exit the menu, it works. There we go. Nice and low frame rate. Uh, four cases of provisions, case, two cases of lab equipment, two cases of organic material, one case of live experiment, I case books and magazines. Sometimes. A, a computer workstation doesn't look like it's running any program though. It won't budge. She looks a little bit like Joanna Dark. Fifth. I 
wasn't exactly expecting a warm welcome, but this is ridiculous. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Good question. Strange cadence. Womp womp. <laughs> you took the med kit. Nice. You know what? I like it. I like the vibe. I think the character moves too quickly. It's a weird complaint. Just she's just a little bit. I feel like a fucking whippet, right? <laughs> Emergency protocol activated. Containment breach in lab section B. Initiate quarantine protocol. Detachment of umbilicus D I D one. Evacuate research personnel. Okay. Okay, I need an access card. I love all the little screens and stuff though. The music's good, it's doing the Silent Hill kind of jam. Like, okay, I must want to do this. Okay, well, I found the quick turn button. Is there a walk button? There is. Like, this is a reason. Uh, yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, you don't need to be facing the door to open it. That's good info. That's my suit. What kind of research were they doing here? And who left the showers on? Also, like ammunition. This gun is the best gun ever. Oh, hey. Taking a shower in his suit. What the hell is going on here? I don't know. He's dead. His suit is covered in blood, although it looks weirdly black. What could have happened here? It looks like he has something, and I want it. <gasps> There's a flashlight button. Yo. And it looks kind of like the Silent Hill style. The two style flashlight. Yeah, yeah. That definitely looks like something. It does. It looks like a key card, which is the thing that I need to get through a door. Uh, so I'm probably just required to press the button in a specific place. Oh, I think I got it. Shit. There we go. Okay, that's interesting. Why is... I'm pretty sure I... Key item, security, yeah, got it. Right. Top right. I get it. Oh, this is new. I can't- No time! I can't believe it! I'm really here. My family always thought it was great. It was crazy, but I've dreamed of living in the oceans since I was a child. Now, instead of wasting half the day preparing for a dive, we're already here, surrounded by the beauty and wonder of this great blue expanse. Note time! I like note time. It's my favourite. Mixel. You took the VHS tape. I really like the icons. That's cool. Last kiss. Nerve. Someone likes those bands. Lockers probably for the researchers' personal belongings. Just in case, a small note with a diagram drawn on it. Drawn on it. One, three, two, then rotate ninety degrees counterclockwise. Oh, one, two, three. Right. I get it.
just a bunch of academic looking books. That tape we found is of uh, a drill, I guess, or a descending camera. Uh, <laughs> side note on Demon Time, yes, indeed. I feel like I'm better equipped now. I, I went and did some, this is PoE stuff, I went and did some heists to get some Chaos Orbs, because it's a pretty consistent way to get them. And then spend those on some shit. But all the good stuff sold out overnight, so... I'm not quite there yet. Right, so now we have a thing, a card. Boop boop. Man, I like this. I could play this. It just reminded me, actually, that there's a game coming out that I really do want to play, a game called Signalis. Which I believe is coming to Game Pass as well, in the not-too-distant future. Alright. And who is the fucking thing in the background? Camera feed somewhere on the facility. No further sign of that woman, though. A woman? Did you see a woman? When people's hands were mittens. We don't need fingers. That will get you killed in war. We have locker hint, right? So... Yeah. One, two, three, then rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Oh. No? Because I did like this. Uh, what's up? One, two, three. Right, yeah, no, I'm just an idiot. Damn. Cleaned out. Well, I guess this will have to do. You took the 9mm handgun. Open inventory to equip idiots. Wait, to equip idiots? <laughs> Did I, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Equip something. I wasn't reading that. Well, we could shoot now. Hey, We're armed to the teeth. What did that just tell me to do? Colonel, I've located some idiots and I'm about to equip them. Request advice. Snake, you shouldn't be using idiots in a nuclear base. Colonel, what aren't you telling me? Snake, I've told you everything, except that I'm a moron. 2300 hours had to intervene when a few of the research scientists got a little too drunk in the lab. Woo! Apparently there was some big discovery, but the Pacifics are still very hush-hush, escorted the unruly scientists back to their bunks with no further incident. The gun is weirdly detailed, isn't it? It should be like a fucking rectangle on another rectangle with a texture pasted to it, because then it would be consistent with the, um, the design of the character model and the way the photo has been used. It's a, yeah, a little, it's, it's almost like a little too much, right? 
I'm thinking about the Resident Evil 2 guns, and they always put like extra polys in those, but they still look really crusty. Oh, look at this guy. He's got like a fancy squid Jacobean ruff. I'll shoot if I have to. Perfect dork. Seven shots, Jesus. I'll shoot if I have to. Hello. Colonel. Who is this? Oh, thank God. Please, I barricaded myself in the break room, but those monsters are still out there. First, I need you to tell me what the hell is going on at this facility. Look, I don't know too much myself. I can try to explain, but you must help me. The connecting tunnel to the laboratory section was destroyed. But you can still get over I think it's like on purpose. I think the acting is stilted on purpose. You want me to swim over there and take on God knows how many of those monsters? I'll try to explain best as I can, but please, you must come quickly. Please. Damn it. This mission just keeps getting weirder. But I can't turn back now. I'm guessing that's the demo. Yeah, that's cool. All right, I enjoy. It's like Metal Gear, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Deep Fear, Dino Crisis. And we got Diggling. <laughs> Let's jiggle. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Who are you? Oh yeah, she was in the camera. Can't rent can't wait to rent this game from Blockbuster, right? <laughs> the fucking dancing though. Uh that looked like some Mixamo mocap assets right there. It's pretty damn cool. All right. Cool. Deep fear, everyone. Not deep fear. <laughs> deep. Deep blue. Endless blue. What the fuck is this game going? Endless blue. Uh, so it's a demo, and it seems cool. <laughs> Imagine if this is deep fear. What's wrong with me tonight? I know I've had like a little bit of wine, but I'm not like fucking munted. I'm just like a. I'm so fucking tired though. One more full day of work, and then I get a week off. And I'm probably gonna take a week off streaming as well, honestly, because this is happening now. <sighs> right. Next game. Uh, let's go with this one. Since we have some people in the chat who can correct my abysmal pronunciation of this. Another day of working as a diver starts for you. Sure, the guy you get your jobs from is a little shady, but it pays well. Better get to work. Nokilati? Nokilati? I think this is. The first person adventure game made for HPS1 Summer of Shivers Jam. Well, there you go. That's what it's called. I don't know how you say it. Oh, A with the, the doohickey. That's not an umlaut because that's not what, probably not what they call them in what I'm guessing is Finland. Uh. Boop boop. Uh, I, I can't fucking speak this language. <laughs> Work for you. Truck has... Oh, right, right, I see. Truck has crashed into a lake from a bridge. Valuables in the rear. Good money if you go get it. Right, that's better. I can read that. <laughs> better go get my gear from the basement. Oh, flashlight. Perfect. When you press F and a flashlight happens, that makes me pleased. 
Especially when your game is dark AF. Good guy game translates it exactly. Maybe I should put Fishland. Fish language. Fib. Fib. Fibmish. Fib. <laughs> we call it Fibthand as a, as a fun jape. Um. And my to do list. At least so I know how to fucking pronounce the words. Ah. So it's ah. Akilati. I guess I think in Sweden it's like R, which is why I was saying it like that. Basement. We got basements. We got crates. We got dither filter. We got oil thing. What's this? <gasps> now time to head out to the car. Hey, are we gonna go sauna with Satan again? Are we gonna go swimming with Satan? He says R and O like we do, but they've got R in addition, which isn't. Oh, it's the one with the one circle on it. Yeah, that's the O sound. That's where I get mixed up. I'm learning. I'm learning big things about worldly languages. It's kind of nice. I'm guessing that word has something to do with Nautilus, uh, you know, you know, oceany stuff. Or it's just the name of a place. Lucky London. Uh, Nokisarmi Bay, right place. Ugh, I missed it. Hopefully my contact is here, probably, is what it said. I get in like, you know, does this bridge remind anyone else instantly of Half-Life 2? Do I just go in the water? <gasps> a truck! Oh, I get it. So the shady guy is like... Maritime Museum, Nakilati. Oh, okay. The shady guy's like, hey... Go and fetch stuff off a truck that fell in the sea. Oh, oh wait, it's actually fucking haunted. Great. Um, I can't breathe, but there's more breathe in the trucks. I feel like this is DMCA music. Or it's just been used before a hundred times. Definitely heard it somewhere. The name is Nokia Nokia do which translates to Nixie Bay, Nixie being a water spirit. Oh yeah. So I presume we're gonna get mermaid. <laughs> Let's go up this boat. Wait, we're still underwater, shit. We gotta get... Oxygen, there we go. So we being chased by Nixie?
I saw that. I saw it. Is this a sauna room again? Kinda, it is. That was a little sauna 2000 nod, I think. That's cool. Another Finn game, which is fucking excellent. Alright, I feel like we got a bunch of oxygen and we should just go. Although I also feel like I'm kind of... I've been everywhere. Yeah, it must have sauna in the cargo ship like you do. Who doesn't? I enjoy. Ah, here we go. Can I get... You know, this is actually pretty cool. I was not expecting this. I got nothing from the games other than the titles and the covers. I basically, I have a... It's the same way I pick albums when, when it's random new stuff. I just look at all of the covers and I go, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. That's a lot of stoves. You want to buy a stove? Who's ready for the spaghetti? I thought it was shrimp. I was gonna say this shrimp fresh, but that guy beat me to it with a fucking goober and spaghetti scare. Who's ready for the spaghetti? I don't think you're ready for spaghetti. Hey, Nixie. Oh, this guy's... I'll give him his head back. Oh, look. I gave him his head back and now we're free! Well, that was unexpected. Yep. Haunted. Truck's haunted. How did it go? There's a new job ready. Nope. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> That's a good ending. <laughs> That's such a good ending. He's like, nope, throws his fucking phone at the sea. The end. Well, I enjoyed that a lot. Nakilati. Uh, fucking great. By MBRH Industries. Oh. Wonderful. Alright. That's great. We're basically an hour in. We've got three games left. That's good timing. So, I'm going to start with t -Sos. Save them. They are your only chance of survival. You don't know what you are stepping into. Lily screams as she wakes up in a room she has never been in before. She doesn't remember anything at all, not even her own past. She needs to get out and remember her own self, but it won't be that easy. Another one moved the game jam. Is the HPS1 logo?
Interesting choice of sounds. Now, this reminds me of Alone in the Dark. This is a good level of crust. Oh no. Okay, D pad. Do not recommend analog stick. This is not good. Okay, that's the sound it makes when you try to interact with something you can't interact with. Sounds like someone blowing down a pipe. This is a note. Take it. Bloop. Oh, we have like a character picture. A note entitled Equipment Notice, addressed to Mr. Johnson by Susie Williams. New equipment has arrived. At the moment, it's in the basement storage and will be later installed in all classrooms. I make sure the delivery went well and check every item in case of any damage. It's all in great condition. There are some papers from the department. I left them on your desk in the office. They need to be filled by next Wednesday. The storage key you asked me about is on the drawer behind your desk. Okay. And also, looks like there's problems with electricity in the kitchen again. It should be fixed by tomorrow afternoon. I insist on the change of kitchen equipment. It's the third time this month. We don't want any problems if department comes one day to check the school and this thing breaks again. Also, Ms. Garland's group skipped their English class again. It's not the first time, so maybe we should listen to them and do something about their teacher. I'll ask Ms. Garcia to attend the next class and tell us later what she thinks about Ms. Wilson's qualification. The drawer behind his desk. A little heavy on the, the wobble <laughs> texture warping here. Look at that. Look at this bookshelf. Rawr, being sucked into the nth dimension. Ah! Right? This is very alone in the dark, isn't it? Oh, the way the camera works and stuff. This reminds me. Oh, I'm not making that noise, that's just happening. Hello! Welcome to Blood Tile. This is a golden key. Yep. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Oh, there we go. It's like a, it's like a kissy boy. Look at that. It's got like a big mouth belly. Silent Hill enemies. <laughs> you kiss your mother with that belly. Yes, I'll take this bandage. Thank you. enemy design. Can't fault that.
Bye. This is much more pleasant. Here we go. Oh, we got weird fucking puzzle doors. Let's go. Um, let's go in this one first. The maple door, I'm gonna call it. It looks kind of like a maple leaf. Why not? Okay, here we go. Where we go? Aghast, I wander in this nightmare realm. Though sloth may slow my feet along the way, and now my lust for solace overwhelms my mind with images of far off day. What light is kept, now hidden, in my heart, beset by wrath and envy of, as I stumble? I pride my strength in setting it apart, safe from the sinful beasts who rip and crumble. I starve in endless gluttony to see an end to horrors in this darkened hole, and greed has racked and taken over me, uh, for it, not pride, has counted for my fall. And so echoes the song of sinners through these darkened holes, and horrors sprung anew. Very good. It's locked. Or oh, bugger. We've got bandages. It's a familiar corridor. Have a crowbar if we need it. Oh, yes, and like eight hundred bandages. <laughs> I appreciate that there's like a layout, there's like different rooms and stuff, and they're giving us plenty of items. seem to be much going on in these rooms though. Hmm. Oh, a balloon! Someone's birthday? It's Lynchy's birthday? Tea. 
to you, Linchy. We wish you a very happy birthday, Linchy. While we were unable to celebrate and wish you in person, our thought and wishes are with you on this special, special occasion. Our though and wishes are with you on this special occasion. We hope you have a wonderful day and an amazing year ahead. By Torn and Unreadable. Both of them. Uh-huh. Hey! This is a dead spider. Sure. Why not? I'd like a place where I can chill. Alright. A dead spider found next to some lockers. Did someone leave it there? Morbid stuff. Fascinating. Why don't we pick that up? I bet corporate gay sent that. Those fake fuckers. <laughs> It's apparently not worth me trying to fight these because I'm just going to get injured. And now I'm yellow. Anyway, I found the dead spiders, so I think I can bring that back here and do something. Wait, Narnia? Why can't I go in the cupboards? I, is that new? Oh no. Complete disregard for enemies. Look, I, I look at the enemies, I took one look at them, and I was like... They're not worth my time. <laughs> also, hi friend. And I'm only using the bandage because the sound was annoying me. I can't open the cow door. Or the eye door. Wait, does that mean there's more door? So this is where I came from, I guess. Yeah, there'd be a lot. There's like a ton of enemies and they take forever. I might as well just ignore them. It's <laughs> fucking disrespected. Completely disrespected. Well, I feel like I did everything this way. And that way's just a corridor with some bandages behind it, so I can't get in there. I guess I'll check some more cupboards, why not? Oh, this guy. Do you just get back up again, or...? You gotta stay down?! You're gonna keep hiding in cupboards? Alright, that's where we just came from, that door that leads back to there. I've done a murder. We 
Okay. I think I missed this door last time. I did. More health. So what is this? Like a school and a hospital and a, a prison? Hey, uh, hey, schools, hospitals and prisons are often themes in horror games because of the kind of weird environments. So why don't we just put all three of them together? <laughs> it's the Skospistion. Uh, wait, uh, what? It's Skospitison. But I get it. It's like inside her brain, right? So this is like a Silent Hill thing. Uh-oh. Watch out for that dude. Right. Oh, okay. I died. Ah, I guess I forgot to heal. Um... But then I didn't realize I could only take a couple hits. That's okay. We have to move on anyway, but for what it's worth, I actually kind of like the vibe of it. It's I was just running past the enemies, but I think if you were like into uh, SH2 style horror game or its creatures and its atmosphere like that, eh, you know, I could see myself playing some more of this, but we have to move on. Tease us. Nice work. Um, two games to go. One of these is... Oh, I'm looking forward to this. This is not really a horror game. This is like a palate cleanser almost. This is called Dreamwalker. This is one of my favorite kinds of games in this style. Where you just fucking... It's LSD Dream Simulator. You wander around. You check out some cool shit that someone made. You, you soak it all in. Each world has an orb. Collect all five to wake up. And it has the default controller stuff built in. But I'm going to use mouse and keyboard. Whoa, 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 whoa. The head bob, though, is a little... A little much. a little strong. Oh, it's a bed. A sky bed. So I'm guessing this is our first world. Each one has an orb. The desert island dr dream world. Seriously? Half the speed of the head bob. Yeah, and also, like, make it not go as high. I feel like I'm going, like, a foot up and down. It's really making me ill. <laughs> We've got, like, a sand baby. Where is it? Where's the button? You know where it is. You know what it is. It's, uh... Is it this one? No, no, no! So this is all part of the sand world, I guess. What was that? Is that a- is that a meat? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, that's- that's really difficult for me, this head bob. It's way too much. I don't think I have an option to turn it down. Oh, 
more extreme texture warping here. So it's like a sand tunnel with like a meat meat boy in it. An orb. We found it. How do we... How do we escape? Do I have to go back? I guess I'll try going back. Actually, that, it turned out the extreme texture warping was just for that tunnel, and it's kind of a cool effect when you run forward like that. All right. This reminds me. Has anyone seen Dune yet? I want to see it. People tell me it's good. The uh, Denis Villeneuve one. I was a fan. I was a fan of his work on Blade Runner. I also want to see it. Metro. Might be a Metro film. Yeah, I do want to see that. Uh, I think they've already confirmed that they're doing the second for film. They're doing the sequel, so obviously it's done well enough. Dune. Alright, so that was world... That's the one. One of five? The ocean respawns as the center. Hey. Uh-oh. I was enjoying the jazz bar and then I went, went in the TV again. How you doing? I wine. Oh, what are you? You're like also characters, huh? Shit gets weird back here. <laughs> okay. I like these cheese wheel guys. Uh-huh. VIP lounge? 
Ah. Orb. We got meat in the bathroom. Okay. Menu. Oh. oh, we're in Windows World. Cursor Chan, she's here. This is what Cursor Chan dreams, I'm sure. Do androids dream of Windows XP wallpapers? Must be an orb in this world, right? What's that? Oh, it's a cursor. I wonder how far this goes. We Lupin? Estoy Lupin? Lupin the third? <gasps> we found it. Now I guess we gotta find, like, a cursor or something to interact with. Or maybe we just have to go back the way we came. Alright, that was neat. We got two more orbs to find. Let's see what's in the other worlds. A picket fence. Big weird houses. Break floor, this is like one of those closed, like, rural neighborhood uh, constructions that you get sometimes. And uh, okay. I think we found a bench. World. Oh, now we in the city. Okay. And this hit her. And this hit her. I watched a video today, it was from 
the big fat quiz of the year. At that time when they had Mr. Blobby on. And oh my goodness, was Mr. Blobby not like the most fucking terrifying thing in the universe? How did we watch that shit as children? Although I really appreciate the way he exited the set by yeeting himself through the fucking set. <laughs> well, I guess there's a better way to say that. Head first, just fucking diving through the back of the set. It's like, yeah, fair play. I'm not leaving until I get my orb. Bit of a walk this though. <gasps> there it is. I guess I have to find a bench now. Kind of hard to tell if this is looping or not. I guess not because the orb took a while to show up, but I think eventually it will wrap round. Yes, there's the bench. One more orb. Don't forget, I'd love to stay, but I got a jet. I know there's some kind of generation going on here that's pretty smart. To figure out the pattern, we should be able to find the thing.
know it is. We did it. That's all five orbs. Now we get this thing. I'm ready to go with the buffets. Let's go. Oh, we're in. Uh, bar barcode world. Trees, rain. Is this is some shit. I, I gotta head towards that crusty pixel on the horizon. Okay. Uh, yep, nope, it's fine. I think we may have entered a portent of the apocalypse. These are the inside of an eyeball scan, by the way. If you're not sure what that is. Eyeball JPEG hell. Mm hmm. Come movies out. Did I get the group photo? Yeah, it's on the um it's actually the title card for the 7 Days Today stream, and it's also on the Instagram. Another pyramid, and some rivers of blood, and some giant dudes. Let's sacrifice. Whoa! Oh, okay. That was cool. Dreamwalker. Nice. That means it's all right. Um, they need to sort of tone down. I feel the the head bob is way too much, but it's a nice little um, little dreams style game condensed. <laughs> 